Hey everyone, back with a new video. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you uh, my full vinyl finds. So uh, to cut a long story short, uh, before I begin the video, uh, just to cut a long story short, I was originally intending on making this a uh, record store finds video back in October, but I wasn't satisfied with what I was gonna get. So I just ended up leaving with a couple of records. And then, um, you know, during the fall uh, season, I ended up, you know, grabbing some records from the, you know, the mall at the music store and um also during that time i wasn't feeling well i got sick you know i had a nagging earache and you know i was just not feeling it uh, i didn't feel like making a video uh during those uh you know during that time so um i felt like you know this you know now that i'm feeling a lot better i felt like this would be the right time to you know get it done since um you know winter's just around the corner christmas is just around the corner and um yeah so uh, this is going to be a two-part video. The first uh, video is basically going to be uh, two records that I got back in October from the record store and uh, another record that I got, I think, was either October or November. And then the second video is going to be two records that I got uh, from the mall at two different times. And uh, one is the most expensive record I've ever purchased. Uh, the other is the cheapest record I've ever purchased. So, yeah. Um... That being said, uh, without further ado, let's begin the video. So, first record is by China Crisis. This is Working With Fire and Steel. Um, possible Pop Songs, Volume 2. Some very good new wave synth pop music by China Crisis. Features the title track, um, Wishful Thinking, and uh, the closing track, uh, The Soul Awakening, is a really good, really good song. So yeah, I'm really happy to have that. And next up is the 1981 self-titled debut album by Level 42. This is a great album, a great debut. Uh, very different from what they did, um, you know, on albums like World Machine um, and uh, Running in the Family, you know, that that's you know, commercial new wave pop music. This is uh, along the lines of, you know, jazz funk, uh, jazz fusion. And it's just really good. So you got Turn It On, 43, Why Are You Leaving, Almost There, Heathrow, um, Love Games, which is a highlight off this album, Dune Tune, which is a, you know, great uh, jazz fusion uh, instrumental. And then uh, another highlight off this album is Star Child which closes out the album. So yeah, I'm really happy to have that. And then this record, I'm also just ecstatic to finally have in my collection, and it's Pink Floyd Animals. And this is the 2018 remix by James Guthrie. And um, yeah, just fantastic record, you know? And uh, in my opinion, I think, I think that this is an album that um, gets uh, overshadowed, you know, overlooked uh, amongst the other two great uh, Pink Floyd records that, you know, um, I mean, when you think about it, like Pink Floyd's uh, greatest records that get a lot of attention are technically uh, um, The Dark Side of the Moon, um, Wish You Were Here, animals and the wall but i feel like the dark side of the moon and the wall are the ones that get the most attention out of those four this one i feel like gets less attention i mean it still gets recognized you know still gets plenty of recognition alongside wish you were here but i feel like it just gets a little bit more a little bit less uh, recognition you know it feels it just feels like in my opinion i feel like it gets a little bit more like overlooked uh, because of just how great those uh, those two particular albums dark side of the moon and, and the wall are and uh, this came out at a time, you know, originally when it was released in 1977, back in January. Uh, it, you know, it was, it came out at a time when, you know, music was changing. Progressive rock was starting to wane. And, um, you know, uh, you had uh, the rise of punk and disco. And, um, you know, Pink Floyd were starting to kind of go into a whole new place with their, you know, um, the, the overall vibe that Pink Floyd was going uh, with, you know, kind of 
as a band, not musically, but uh, in terms of, uh, I guess their their personalities were starting to clash a bit, and then um, things really started to kind of fall apart after 1979, uh, or rather uh, when the Wall was released, and then uh, you know they abruptly you know kind of went their separate ways, except for uh, you know David Gilmore and uh, Nick Mason, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, enough about that. This is really about animals and uh, how great this album is. You have the songs uh, Pigs on a Wing, uh, Dogs, Pigs, Three Different Ones, and Sheep. Pigs on a Wing, uh, one and two basically being the bookends to uh, Dogs and Pigs, Three Different Ones, and Sheep. Um, you know, just fantastic. And then uh, you've got the gatefold here. And this was originally intended to be released, I think, uh, you know, sometime around, I think it was intended on being released in 2018, but I guess due to delays in, um, or between 2018 and 2020, but due to, you know, um, uh, here's the label. Due to, uh, you know, I think the pandemic was a main part of why it was delayed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what I heard or what I read. That was one of the main reasons why this album was delayed to you know, be released in 2022. But yeah, um, also comes with this really nice booklet. You know, the packaging's fantastic. Here's the booklet. Some really cool artwork here. And then we've got the original art from Hypnosis right here. Got photos of Better See power station back in 1976. Some pictures of algae, the inflatable pig that was hovering above Battersea power station back in 1976. photo of LG above Battersea power station. It's a really nice photo. And then you have some photos of the band during rehearsal. 1977. So you got Nick Mason and Roger Waters. Richard Wright and David Gilmore. Promotional promotional material for the tour. Ticket stubs, advertising poster for the infamous concert at uh, Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Of course, uh, that concert infamous for um, Roger Waters spitting on uh, the front row, fans in the front row, and thus um, became an inspiration for what would then become the wall. So yeah, just Really cool photos, and then we got uh, some other some other photos, concept art from uh, the inflatable caricatures from the tour, the mother, and then the father. So 
yeah. So, really cool packaging. And overall, it just sounds fantastic, you know. Really happy to have this record. Like I said, you know, it's just awesome, awesome album. So that does it for part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two, where I'm going to show you the other couple of records that I got in the fall. So stay tuned.